Aha! 60k subscribers! I'm thrilled, thank you guys so much. What video shall we make today? Well, I'm not going to let that discourage me. I will continue to stride across the algorithm in search of new ground to break. Because like it or not, I'm still relevant. So to hell with the status quo, we're gonna try something new today. Enter Pup Paints. Where I hereby challenge myself to redesign the most iconic design in history. That's right, I am going to make a brand new Spider-Man costume and set myself the following criteria. You guys can also participate. The following rules are, it must be drawn in Microsoft Paint or another very simple painting tool. None of this Adobe Photoshop shit, okay? Keep everybody on the same level. Nobody lags behind and nobody excels. At least in no part thanks to software anyway. Rule number two, it cannot take any inspiration from any existing Spider-Man design. This all needs to come from the top of your head. You need to treat this as though you are designing this character for the very first time. When done, you can submit your designs to channelpuppaints at gmail.com and you might get featured in the next Channel Pup Paints installment. So that's this week's challenge. Redesign Spider-Man. So let's get stuck in. Obviously Spider-Man has one of the most iconic and instantly recognizable costumes of all time. There have been variants and there's been some good ones and some not so good ones. So today I'm going to attempt to live up to that. This is gonna take some real bravery guys. Can I get some subscribers for my bravery? Oh geez, no, this is, this is a new frontier. Okay, so I guess um, the only way to begin this is by doing the basic Spider-Man shape. So obviously he's got a head. He's, he's got a head, and uh, he's got a body, and uh, Spider-Man is quite a lean superhero, so we're going to give him quite lean bodily proportions. He's got a, quite a lanky sort of torso here. He's He's got legs, like, like most people do. Two legs, despite his title as Spider-Man. So just uh, doing that there. That, that looks about right. He's got a tiny little bit of butt there, but that's that's fine. And, uh, he's got arms. And, uh, yeah, so... Oh, man. Shoulders. Okay, so this is our basic Spider-Man template. This is, this is what we're working with here. Um, okay, so, obviously we've got to steer clear of doing anything that is familiar to traditional Spider-Man design. So we're going to start off by incorporating the eight-leg spider design onto his head. So these are the... these are the spider's legs. That looks pretty, uh... pretty... amazing. Or should I say, spectacular or ultimate. And we're gonna add some more of these spider legs like so that's that's a good looking spider leg as is that and yeah okay so we got all eight of the legs um now spiders uh they have like multiple eyes or something don't they so we're gonna oh that's a bit too small we're gonna give him these little eyes here and more eyes here and we'll give him pincers. There we go, so this is truly shaping up to be iconic. Um, now what else can we factor into this? Obviously, the traditional Spider-Man look factors webs all over his costume. We don't want to do exactly that this time, we want to do something a bit different structurally. So I'm thinking... Uh, what am I thinking? Spiders have these sort of markings along their backs. In fact, we'll make him like a tarantula. We'll make him kind of almost furry looking. Like a tarantula's butt has that sort of stripiness to it. Has like a black furry stripe going across it, like so. Um, 
And um, what we're going to do is, yeah, that will be like his little belt section, which is where the orangey color of the, um, uh, the what's it called? The uh, tarantula sort of design comes in. As for the arms, we'll make them kind of uh, fragmented, is it? Like what a, what a spider has. Now, that looks dangerously similar to the Far From Home suit, but don't worry, that's not... That's not what we're going for. Don't don't worry one bit. It's uh it's gonna be that sort of segmented kind of look that a spider's leg has. It's like uh, it's got joins on it, you know. So like um we're gonna just to make it you know different from the far from home suit. We're gonna just add that to it. There we go. Um, let's begin coloring it in, shall we? So a spider is typically brown. And the joins on the spider are typically this kind of color, orangey sort of color. I uh, put some red in there just to show a little bit of strain on that little body of his. Um, and uh, the legs will be sort of yellowy, or arms, should I say, we kind of yellowy. And it'll have these little black mitts. There we go. Um, now for the rest of the body. Um, or should I say, shall we, shall we start by coloring this in here? Uh, we're gonna make this gray. Uh, make his little beady eyes red. Give him brown pincers. And uh, yellow legs in accordance to the rest of this design. That way, you know, we've got a pretty universal sort of color scheme going on here. Um, I can't help but feel that he needs little, uh, little pincers up top here. There we go. And just little tiny little... Little pincers -y bits here. There we go. See, we're really, uh, we're, we're going down the path of a very original looking Spider-Man. Um, now, uh, okay, so we come to his legs now. Um, I think this could be where we start to introduce some webbing. Um, so what we'll do is add this here and add this here because, as we know, Spider-Man in the comics does not have webs on his legs. So, We'll put some webs on his legs. That's how we're going to do this. See that? Totally original. Unlike anything we've ever seen before. Um, now, spiders also have quite... Because um, I noticed we haven't given him any kind of web shooter. Spiders have these sort of butt ball things. Butt balls, let's call them. Which is where the web comes out. So we're going to do that. There we go. And there we go. And uh, in accordance to the rest of the color scheme, we've obviously got to have it quite furry. I think that's where the web comes out of. I'm not sure, but as it is, it doesn't matter. It's a fictional superhero. It doesn't need to be entirely grounded in real life logic. I mean, this is... Fuck! This is relatively grounded, so... The fact is people are lucky. Just to demonstrate that the web comes out of here, we're gonna just pop some web coming out of his butt ball. And um, yeah, just do that. Very innovative new style. Um, these web bits, I'm gonna make them gray because that's what color webs tend to be, I guess. And um, his legs will start off, bl nah, that blends too much, doesn't it? You know what? We've used a dark gray on his head. Let's use it on his crotch. There we go. Um, kind of gives way to that webbing-y kind of look. And let's give him orange peats. There we go. So there we have Spider-Man. Um, our own special design for him. And uh, let's just give him kind of a, a backdrop kind of thing going on here. Just give him his stage to stand on. Crop that to a nice 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Zack Snyder, eat your heart out, and he's going to be on the grass with a nice big blue sky behind him and a big sunshine. Just uh, do that like so. Sun rays and all that jazz and uh, color that in like so. And yes, so I think that is my attempt at redesigning Spider-Man from the very ground up. Spider-Man. So, um, 
yeah, that'll be it. Let me know what you want me to paint next in the comments below, and I'll definitely do at least one of the suggestions. Don't look at me that way, it's a slow news day, okay? So, that's my attempt at a Spider-Man design. Uh, what do you guys think? Comment below and discuss. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, hit subscribe, hit the like button. And in the description below is the link tree to many different websites where you can help support Channel Pub. I'm going to try and get some new rewards done for those that do participate in that, including behind the scenes stuff of how I make these videos and you will be enthralled by it. If you're not, you're doing something wrong. It is entirely your fault. Anyway, I don't care. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a pleasant day.